the conditions for adjacent angles are to have the same vertex and to have a common side and the angles lie on either parts of the common side to have a vertically opposite angle we should oh, these angles should have the same vertex and their sides are the prolongation of one another and these are the keywords as we see here in the focus adjacent, adjacent angles look there is a common vertex a common side and there is a red angle and blue angle lying at either parts so yes they are adjacent are these two angles adjacent we have a common side we have the angles lies lying at either parts of the common side but they do not have a common vertex this is the vertex of the blue uh, angle and this is the vertex of the red angle so no they are not adjacent angles in this case we have these two angles they are vertically opposite a and b are vertically opposite since they have common side a uh, common vertex and the side of one is a prolongation of the side of the other angle so they are vertically opposite angle also we have another pair of vertically opposite angles which are C and D they are opposite to each other and these angles are opposite to each other so they are vertically opposite angles and we should know that the measure of A equals the measure of B A equals B and the measure of the angle D equals the measure of angle C in degrees okay in the other case they are not vertically opposite angles since the side of one is not prolongation of the side of the other angle if we have to prolong the side uh, this side is prolongation for this side but this one is not prolongation of this one if you have to prolong this side we should have it like this so they are not vertically opposite angle and the angles are not equal So, in the focus, draw two angles, draw an angle, x, o, y, x, o, z, adjacent to x, o, y. So, first of all, we have to know which, what is the common side. First of all, the common vertex is o, the common side is o, x, o, x. So, we draw o, x, and then we draw the first angle which x o y so we draw x o y uh, according to the uh, given measure and then we have to draw the other angle uh, x o z x o z so we should put the protractor here in x o z the vertex should be the center of the protractor should be on the vertex of the angle and then we count till the required measure and we put a mark and then we draw the other side of the angle x o z as we see here we see that the two angles have the same vertex a common side o x o x and they lie at either parts of the common side so they are adjacent How to draw two vertically opposite angles so we have to prolong the first side and to prolong the second side and easily we should have two vertically opposite angles and the vertically opposite angles are always equal and have the same measure so two adjacent angles are complementary as we said that complementary means the sum is 90 degrees so two adjacent uh, and complementary angles form a right angle which is equals to 90 degrees like this case two adjacent angles and supplementary we know that 
we call two angles supplementary if their sum is 90 degrees so we call them supplementary angles if they form a straight angle which is 100 180 sorry here we should say supplementary two angles are said to be supplementary if their sum is 180 degrees and they form together a straight angle like this angle and here a important note to prove three points are collinear what do we mean by collinear that they belong to the same line okay this is the mean of collinear co the same linear line so collinear means belong to the same line in the first in the first case as we see here the angle o a o c equals a o b plus b o c if we add 125 to 55 then we get 180 which is a straight angle then a o c is a straight angle then the points a o and c they are collinear collinear means belong to the same line which is this line formed by the straight angle a o c on the other hand we see here that the sum of the two angles is 181 which is a bit different from 180 so the two the three points k l and m are not collinear so this is the key words